Hello, my name is Daniel Delaney, and my project is on using Omni Wheels to produce polynomial movement. First, what are Omni Wheels? They're just wheels, but instead of treads or tires, they have unpowered rollers around their rim. That allows them to be powered forward, but also to be able to slide sideways with very little friction. One application of Omni Wheels is the holonomic movement. On the left is a non-holonomic vehicle, on the right is a holonomic vehicle. They can both move forwards and backwards with no problem, and they can both rotate. The difference is that the holonomic vehicle can move left and right freely, while the non-holonomic vehicle can't. This means that holonomic vehicles are better suited to areas where there is a high need for maneuverability. So what's happening at a more detailed level? Suppose that a holonomic vehicle wants to move at this angle. That means it'll drive these two wheels at the appropriate angle, and it will stop the other two wheels. Because they are omni wheels, they'll still, uh, or they won't produce very much friction, and the vehicle will move in the appropriate direction. Let's put some numbers to this. Suppose that each wheel moves with a top speed of m. Because there's two wheels, the entire vehicle will move at a speed of 2m. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Suppose we want to move directly sideways. Now we have to drive all four wheels. These speeds are specifically calculated so that the, the vertical components of the speeds will cancel each other out, leaving just the large horizontal arrow. Let's put some numbers to it again. Here, because the, v the wheels aren't moving directly at the right angle, they only produce root 2 over 2m instead of the m from before. We again have four wheels, so 4m times root 2 over 2 is roughly equal to 2.82, much larger than the 2m that we had from before. So we can graph this velocity. For this particular setup, you end up with this graph. Its best points of motion are directly up, directly sideways. Its worst point of motion is at those 45 degrees angles. So you can use these graphs to tell a lot about how a vehicle can move best and worst. For my project, I want to predict these graphs for several different types of holonomic vehicle. So for my experiment, I built several of these vehicles. You can see uh, the vehicle from before here, but I also built four others. And I then ran a computer simulation to create a projected speed for each vehicle, and then compared my computer simulation to an actual acquired speed for each vehicle. So for the first one, which I called Type A, you can tell that the computer simulation and the actual speeds matched up pretty well, but not that precisely. There's a lot more variability in the actual speeds, as you'd expect. For types B and C, it's kind of a mixed bag. I predicted, as you can see, a very different graph for the projected velocity, and for type B, it matched it relatively well. However, for type C, it was both a lot more uniform and a lot uh, slower than I had anticipated. Finally, the last one I tried was type D. The, uh, this one worked the worst. It was both much faster and much uh, more variable than I expected it would be. I expected that it would be the most uniform of the four variants I tried, but it was actually the least. So, uh, in the end, I was unable to show that this model was very good uh, at predicting how these vehicles would behave. I didn't show it was bad, I didn't disprove this model, I just didn't manage to prove it to a uh, appropriate degree. So that was my science fair project. I hope it was at least a little bit interesting. If you have any questions, uh, leave my email in the description below. Thank you. Have a good day.